Some highlights from this year's Andy Cooney Cruise of Irish Stars. Seven nights of fun, music and entertainment on board the MS Puisia to the Eastern Caribbean. Happy hour. We all together. Happy indeed was this large crowd of Irish Americans on this year's Cruise of Irish Stars, led by the popular singer from Long Island, Andy Cooney. While many people go on cruises to relax, most of this group came to party, and party they did. worries were left behind as the Irish crews left Fort Lauderdale in early February for seven days to the Eastern Caribbean on board the Italian MSC cruise ship, the Puisia. Cruising is becoming very, very popular because people have just realized that you're getting great value. You get your stops, you get all your food and of course all the entertainment as well, which is absolutely fabulous. The Poesia is a wonderful ship that has a European flavour. All of the rooms, there's marble, leather, very nicely decorated. The cabins are nice and 70% of the cabins on the ship are actually balcony cabins, which is a great plus. The food has been absolutely fantastic, a great variety of food, but again, it has that European flavour. The staff are very, very friendly and extremely helpful. People have come back year after year. Well, just a couple of quick announcements. Please. Andy is a great singer and entertainer, but more than that, he's the one that brings everybody together and he creates a wonderful atmosphere. He makes everybody feel so welcome. Cruising has become a popular vacation option in recent years, but what sets this cruise apart is the entertainment. Some 40 musicians, singers, dancers entertained the 650 plus guests from early afternoon to late at night. Indoors and outdoors, the music continued. You know, I've been in this music business for over 25 years. I've worked with so many people, Patricia, uh, and I've met so many people and uh, I, I know a lot of the big stars and they're all very good friends of mine and uh, just so delighted that we have these top performers coming with us. I mean, Ronan Tynan, one of the greatest tenors in America. He comes on this cruise every year. He loves it. He truly loves it. He's in great spirits. Uh, he goes around, says hello to everybody, and people just love him. He's just that type of guy. On this beautiful ship, the MSC Posia, there are many different venues on board for our entertainers. The way the theater is set up, it is at a traditional concert hall, very classy. Throughout the lounges, we have a variety of different bands performing from different cities, some coming directly from Ireland, but they're all Irish bands and they all have their own followings. And it's just a great atmosphere on board. Poolside, my God, the poolside parties that we've had, unbelievable. What can I say, we just have so much fun. The entertainment this year included a wide variety of performers for all age groups. From Paddy Noonan to the Screaming Orphans from traditional Irish music to rock and roll. From Ireland's funniest man, Noel V. Ginnity, to one of the world's foremost tenors, Ronan Tynan. Winter and only a 
rivers run free. I think what you have here is a simulation of a, a wonderful amount of different artists. You know, you have the conglomeration of fiddlers, piano players, accordionists, singers, young girls, young groups, dancers, all giving a group of people the best they can. And when they get together, that's when the real uproar starts. Delighted to be here. Just great times from the day we sailed. They'll get lonesome when we get back because it, it's such a wonderful thing. We meet all our fellow entertainers, musicians, but our fans and just great people who are ready to go. And they bring the best out in, in all of us because they're all happy, very happy. Darling, with their smiles so warm. And so fondly I watched her move here and move there. You know how it is in these uh, fancy hotels, they come and they, they put a chocolate on your pillow. On this ship, they put a prune. <laughs> in Ireland, I'm definitely the last of the vaudevillians. I'm the last of the ones that dress up. I'm not saying it's any better than anybody else, but that's how I do it and I am the last of a dying breed. No cursing, no swearing, and hope that people laugh. And thank God I got away with it again. In between the entertainment and the pool parties, the ship stopped at some beautiful ports of call. St. Thomas in the US Virgin Islands, San Juan in Puerto Rico, and NASA in the Bahamas. Besides the abundance of great food and the usual facilities available on most cruise ships, special activities were organized for the Irish group. From Irish dance classes led by Susan Connors to daily mass offered by Father Frank. I think what I love most about the Andy Cooney Cruise is a sense of community and family that 500 plus people can create around Irish music and entertainment in general. And what really impresses me as a Catholic priest is that everyone is here to party and enjoy themselves, but a few hundred people every day come to Mass to pray, and, and that really touches my heart that the faith is still alive and growing. The cruise was out of control. I've had no sleep, and I gained I don't know how much weight. So before I can get on the next cruise, they're going to overweigh me, my, my luggage, never mind me. But it was wonderful. It couldn't have been better. It's Ireland away from home. You have all the entertainment you'd ever want to enjoy, from the pop rocks, Irish, to the Kayleys, to the waltzes, to the set dancing, all on one ship, small ship, a lot of Irish, and you feel like you're in Ireland, because you can't get this back home. The music, the entertainment, the heart and soul, Everything that's taken place here for six days has been really a tribute to the Irish heritage and, and everything that Ireland brings to this country. 
Following the big success of this year's cruise, plans are already underway for next year. MSC's Poessa will again be the venue for the 2013 Cruise of Irish Stars, this time to the Western Caribbean. We're delighted to say we will be travelling on MSC Poesia again um, and we'll be doing the Western Caribbean and it will be from February 2nd to the 9th, 2013. Uh, we will be making stops at uh, Fort Lauderdale. We we'll start at Fort Lauderdale, we'll go to Key West, Cozumel, Mexico, Roatan Island in Honduras and Montego Bay, Jamaica. <laughs> Many of this year's guests have already signed up for next year, and so too have most of the entertainers, including Ronan Tynan. But Andy likes to mix it up a bit and bring new acts on board. And the lineup next year will also include the legendary Frankie Gavin and Day Dannon. Every year I always do try to bring a few new performers as well, and I'm very excited to have Frankie Gavin and Day Dannon. I was just checking them out on YouTube, over two, two million hits on YouTube. I mean, uh, they are just uh, Ireland's legends uh, of, of traditional Irish music, and they put on a, an, an amazing show. So it's gonna be a great, great cruise next year. I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna have over a thousand people. It's a wonderful way to spend a week together, to meet new friends, to come with friends, to come with a big group of people, or to just, Come yourself, because you won't be alone. We're all together, celebrating our Irish American heritage. And the world would be better for this that one man, scorned and covered with scars, still strong with these last rounds of courage. No matter how far to 